creating scarcity. So a fire can't grow if you're always smothering it. And so what you want to think about his desire and his interest and his being in love with you is, is kind of like a fire. And so you want to let it grow. You want to give it oxygen. You want to give it air. You don't want to completely leave it alone, which is what some women say. A lot of times when, when I say stuff like this, they're like, oh, become scarce. And they completely disappear. They're like, abracadabra, and they're gone, right? And then all of a sudden they're gone. And they're like, oh, I never contact him. I never reach out to him. I never respond to him. And you're like, oh, well, I couldn't imagine why he's not trying to talk to you anymore, <laughs> right? So there, there's, a, there's a middle ground here. There's always a middle ground for all of these things that we talk about. But what it is, is most most women come to us and they're in a state of being needy and clingy and smothering. And so they're smothering a guy, trying to talk to him all the time. I send him messages every single day, you know, 12 times a day and he doesn't respond. And it's like, okay, chill out, create some scarcity, pull back a little bit. He can't miss you if he doesn't experience life without you there. And so if you want him to miss you, you've got to pull back a little bit and allow him to miss you. Give him some space to miss you. Give him some space to wonder what it is that you're doing. What's she doing right now? Is she out with other guys? Why is she, you know, I sent her this message at, at 8 p.m. on a Friday and she didn't respond until the next day. Why, why was that, right? And it's because you have other things going on in your life, which is what you want to do, right? We, we value and appreciate things because of the contrast between experiencing it and not experiencing it. So it's, we don't value and appreciate things because it's there all the time. We value and appreciate it because of the contrast. And so that is what causes us to miss it. And so stop sending him good morning texts every single day. Stop right? And stop doing things where you're just trying to constantly reach out to him and figure out what's going on with him and talking to him and smothering him all the time and finding out, you know, what's going on with you? Are you mad at me? You know, all that kind of stuff. Stop doing all that stuff and chill out, lean back, relax a little bit, you know, let there be some space for him and some room for him to come to you and pursue you. Start having other things that are going on in your life that allow you to have time, space, and attention away from him. Give him the gift of missing you by creating space and scarcity. But like I said, you don't want to leave the fire because the fire is going to go off and burn in other places. What you want to do is just give him some room, give him some room to breathe, give him some oxygen, and allow him to kind of build and grow that flame of desire and love that he has for you.